Hi, I'm Rolly. Today I will be presenting our work on building a robotic caregiving simulator. This is a collaborative work with Columbia University and Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Here, you can see a Toyota HSR robot feeding a care recipient with cerebral palsy. She has involuntary movements in her arms. The robot is collaborating with a caregiver who is wiping the care recipient's mouth. This is a typical caregiving setting in our care world, a human-centric simulation world for robotic caregiving designed with inputs from stakeholders. According to WHO, 190 million people in the world live with some form of motor impairment. Robots have the potential to help them. However, Many barriers to entry in this field restrict research to just a few labs. The lack of access to stakeholders in caregiving communities such as care recipients and caregivers hinders design of realistic caregiving systems in the real world. Without realistic environment, it is also hard to design algorithms that can be actually deployed to the real users. Also, the large cost associated with real robot hardware development and maintenance is prohibitive. Simulation platforms that can realistically model real-life caregiving scenarios can help lower these barriers to entry and democratize this impact fulfilled. What should an ideal simulated world for robotic caregiving have? By collaborating with stakeholders from the caregiving community, we identify the needs to first build realistic human avatars of care recipients that model their functional abilities and behavior to simulate different kinds of disabilities. Second, provide realistic home environments with home modifications in the houses of people with mobility limitation and contain assistive devices. As roboticists, we believe the simulator should contain robots commonly used for caregiving, support multimodal sensing, and have multiple interfaces that enable planning, learning, and control for both human and robots. While many simulation platforms have been proposed, none address all of these needs to truly capture the world of robotic caregiving. Keeping these needs in mind, we present our care world. Using clinical data, we construct care avatars, high fidelity models that capture the functional abilities and behavior of their human counterparts. We embed them in care homes, environment assets that model caregiving homes with varying level of accessibility and assistive devices. Our care world contains robots commonly used for caregiving and supports visual and haptic sensing modalities. It interfaces with Python, ROS, and VR, and with state-of-the-art external planning and learning libraries through them. Now, let's take a look at care avatars in more detail. The human models in our care world contain skin, muscle, and skeleton. For shape and structure, we leverage the simple X model. Our human avatars can be actuated through two methods. The first one is musculoskeletal actuation. Muscle modeling in our care world follows the heel type model with the contractile element, the serious elastic component, and the parallel elastic component. An activation signal A is sent to the muscle, which then contracts and generates a force FM. The second method of actuation is a skeletal model with soft tissue, in which bones actuate and generate motion. The soft tissue is deformed during contact and movement, as you can see here when the robot is touching the human and when the wheelchair is moving. These soft tissues are not only limited to the human skin, but also present in the mouth. The tongue deforms when the strawberry is touching it. We use our proposed human models to build realistic virtual avatars for six real-life care recipients. You can see here they move their limbs in different ways. They are built using clinical data such as range of motion and muscle strengths. 
We plan to keep adding new avatars having other kinds of mobility limitations. Besides human, environment is also important. With inputs from stakeholders, we construct home modifications with three levels of accessibility, where we have usual, partially barrier-free, and completely barrier-free homes. Here we show one typical house in care homes. The modified homes contain hospital beds and Hoyer slings in the bedroom. Only level 3 houses have lower cabinets and knee spaces. These are just some examples while care homes contain more modifications like these. Robots can learn different skills in different care homes. For example, here you can see a robot opening various doors in different rooms. Care homes consist of 16 houses modified from the Matterport dat dataset. Each house contains various kinds of rooms. In addition, we consider assistive devices that are commonly used by care recipients and add them to care homes. Next, let's look at how ArcareWord addresses the needs of roboticists. ArcareWord contains a variety of caregiving robots, including fixed-based robots, mobile manipulators, and social robots. In caregiving scenarios, robots need to have a visual perception of the surroundings. ArcareWord provides RGB, depth, and LiDAR sensing. As caregiving also involves physical interaction, ArcareWord provides perception of joint and end effector forces. There are many tasks where contact happens over the entire arm. Our simulation platform also has the capability to do whole arm touch sensing for these tasks. ArcareWord uses Unity as a server and interfaces with Python, ROS, and VR to provide the capability to plan, control, and learn both human and robot control policies. Python supports learning tasks, ROS allows planning, and the VR interface enables interaction with the virtual world. With the hope of democratizing caregiving robots, we propose caregiving tasks in our care world. The tasks are designed with inputs from stakeholders to ensure that they can provide meaningful assistance and can serve as benchmark for researchers. We train reinforcement learning policies on these tasks. We perform real-world robotic caregiving experiments to showcase the utility of our care world. To validate the fidelity of our care world, we evaluate the transfer of a policy Learn in simulation for bed basing assistance on a real-world setup. Here, we visualize the forces in simulation and real robots and observe that they have similar chains. This successful zero-shot transfer shows the potential to help roboticists develop algorithms and deploy to the real world. Additionally, we perform a real-world robotic social caregiving experiment using behavior trees we program a now robot to act as a coach for rehabilitation exercises. We ask six volunteers to test our system and detail their feedback in the paper. ArcareWord takes the first step towards democratizing caregiving robots. The various features of ArcareWord make it suitable as a benchmark platform for competitions like RoboCup at home. The one point Zero version of Arcade World will be released soon with all these features, and in the next 2.0 release, we will add more assets. Scan the QR code to try it and let us know your feedback. After building Arcade World, we ask for feedback from stakeholders, including care recipients, caregivers, and occupational therapists. They all speak highly of Arcade World. We hope that making this platform, which is commanded by stakeholders, accessible to researchers worldwide, is a step towards democratizing the impactful field of robotic caregiving. Here are just some of the things you can do with our keyword. Thanks for listening.